being a new mom needs support it is supposed to be tough especially when you are a new mom you need to care just as much as your little bundle of joy hi everyone this is me jyotika bedi i'm the founder of happiness is love we make relationships better what are some of the hardest things about being a new mom i'm a mother of 3 i get it and that's why i'm making this video it is tough it is difficult and there is no manual there is no guide and that's why being a new mom needs support there's no doubt about that and sometimes we feel that we really can't went and it is rough it is tough but i'm here to tell you there is light at the end of the tunnel my oldest is 18 and i have twin daughters who are in middle school so i feel you and i really don't want us to come across like we are being ungrateful moms or we are complaining It is supposed to be tough especially when you are a new mom and that's why it's very important to acknowledge the difficulty and not put ourselves in the risk of just feeling alone and doing it all because yes you need to care just as much as your little bundle of joy so let's first start by acknowledging the hard times and celebrating the good ones so that we have a realistic picture and cry when it's very difficult and it's feeling overwhelming and we don't feel alone because being a new mom is like i said it's a roller coaster ride you go through a lot of emotions we don't know how to start we doubt ourselves and i'm sharing this with you because i went through a hard time as a new mom and the experiences that i went through i i, I pray nobody else does because we are now wanting to s- spread awareness so that we don't feel that we don't know how to handle this and acknowledging well that this is rough this is tough also means that there are tools there are ways that i can deal with the, the challenge of being a new mom in a positive in a healthy and in a productive way so let's begin with few things that have worked out for me they i'm still work and learn we all need to first acknowledge that it's all unknown territory just like a child is born for the first time so is the mother so i remember when i My first my my son was born and we brought him home from the hospital I just looked at him and I wondered like oh my god like what do I do now and and I had a lot of mixed feelings I had a lot of questions I had a lot of self doubt and then when my twins were born my youngest twin has something called necrotizing enterocolitis and she was in hospital for one whole year I had read a lot of books I talked to a lot of people and I, I thought I was well prepared to handle this but the reality is that it is all unknown territory the fact that my twin was in hospital for more than a year was something that I wasn't prepared for and it's not like being a parent is something you can practice until you feel like you've got it down and then you know you feel okay I have achieved it and I'm like 100% on it we are parent for life we're all work and learn because parenting is about mutual learning mutual growth and constant and, and also i i would say a constant balancing of what you think is right what really your child wants and needs and there are skills that we can all learn because we're not born with good parenting skills and there are like i said there are no manual there is no guide For some people this is an exciting part but for others like for myself just being a new mom triggered a lot of anxiety in me and I felt out of control and I wanted to plan everything but I was a mess basically but I promise you and now that I am in the business of helping moms helping parents it can get easier and you can quickly find your feet if you know few things what to do and what not to do I also want you to acknowledge the absolute exhaustion that comes with being a new mom or a new parent it seems like i create children that i you know they i used to feel that i have given birth to kids who just don't like to sleep my son you would just sleep all day and would be up all night wanting to play and wanting our full attention now the thing is that once you've had a child you yourself want to lead your physical and psychological emotions and experiences because giving birth itself is it's such a big thing and sometimes we don't understand that mama also needs a nap mama also needs love and caring and rest as much as this new bundle of joy and it always amazes me as to how women can function so well when they don't sleep but it does eventually impacts our well-being it impacts our health the exhaustion is like 
nothing else you feel it in your bone your brain fogs you try to do a lot of things you you try to overstretch yourself and for new moms this exhaustion lasts a little longer than others and i know this i've been there you know your babies will sleep longer once they grow older and before you know you'll be sleeping during the nights again instead of take trying to take that quick 15 minute naps so what i'm here to tell you is that it is very important to take care of yourself and make sure that your cup is first full only then will the extra flow into others one thing that i wrestled with was other people's expectations and this was really hard for me you probably experienced a lot during pregnancy but it doesn't stop once your baby is born everyone is different and everyone has different expectations of women who have children whether they realize it or not everyone comes from a good space especially the love our loved ones these expectations shape how we talk to ourselves from asking when you'll be going back to work to how long you plan on breastfeeding from asking if you will be sleeping throughout the night yet you know what you get a lot of unsolicited advice and a lot of people are coming from a good place but again this basically makes the mother feels very burdened and because these expectations on new moms are are rough because we also have expectations of ourselves half of the time you haven't even figured these things out for yourself and you have someone implying you should be doing this a certain way and that you shouldn't be doing things a certain way this is something that i experienced arm yourself with few standard responses like we haven't actually decided yet we're going to see how it goes we're doing what it takes in parenting where we're working learn we're doing what works for us and thank the people and let them know that you are in charge make sure that you also know your own expectations one of the hardest things for me as a new mom was managing and dealing with my own expectations even when i was a new mom and the second time round i put too much pressure too much burden on myself and i realized that often our reality does not match our imagination and it isn't a bad thing often the reality is far better than we could have ever imagined but there are times when we just don't realize how hard it can be when my daughter was born and i was excited to experience this new phase of raising teenagers i landed up in the hospital in the and i see you with my daughter and stayed in the hospital for one year and i did have zero knowledge or experience of how to handle a sick child i knew i wanted to breastfeed her and i was confident in my ability to do so but i couldn't because she was unwell and she was in nicu and it is these moments that you realize that i have to have realistic expectations of myself and i have to make sure that i can doing my best is good enough and i don't need to overstretch i made sure that i took care of my sleep i took care of my well-being i took care of my nutrition I, even though i was in hospital with my sick child i would make sure that i go for a 15 minute walk because i had to take care of myself first only then would i have the strength and the energy to take care of all three kids and thankfully with the right support i was able to weather this storm and we were able to get our daughter home after one year of hospitalization so i'm here to tell you that there is no manual and and you know even if there is a manual but it doesn't fit your model you know you could have read all the parenting books and none of them seem to sometimes apply to your child like you've got the manual but it's not for your model basically i have read so many books and then i've realized that every child is different every child is unique every child is special in their own ways and it's it's on us as parents to really understand every child my kids have never done anything by the manual by the way they, you know they're happy and healthy and hitting all the milestones early and they are loved and cared for and i wouldn't have done it any other way but i know i i stopped looking for answers because i also realized that reading is good researching is good but also i have to tailor my style according to every child every child has a different love language every child has a different understanding of the world and i had to be cognizant of that as a parent make sure that your body feels good for that just make sure that you move your body and i know it's hard when you're a new mom you look at yourself and you wonder oh my god what's happened to my body make sure that you describe to yourself how your body feels and it's okay if you don't feel good in your body but you need to take steps you look in the mirror i know it's hard but you need to look 
at your body, give it love and gratitude. You've just given birth. And that is the most beautiful thing. And, and for you to have those stretch marks, and, and you know, let's say if you've had an operation, for you to have the stitches is a badge of honor. I mean, when I would look at my body, my pregnant body, I would actually be so thankful for giving birth and, and going through this experience, even though it was difficult. So we can learn to appreciate our bodies and we can even give it love and gratitude when we don't feel so good and keep moving your body so that your body feels alive. And there'll be moments that you'll feel that you're doing everything wrong and that's okay. No matter how confident you are in your choices as a new mom, you're going to feel like you're doing things wrong. And believe me, I still do. I have an 18 year old. I still do. It's not easy until you've been making decisions for yourself and you'll realize that good, bad, ugly, these are your decisions because your intention is only pure. And now if you make a decision which is not going well, don't be harsh on yourself. It's okay as a parent to make mistakes. It's okay to fall and fail and learn alongside your child. And this is what my children have taught me that we need to not just allow our children to make mistakes, we even need to allow ourselves to make mistakes because we are human. And sometimes we make wrong choices, we make bad choices, we make bad decisions. It is okay. And all children will mess up just like we will too. It's very important to understand this because we are not taught. And this is what breaks my heart because you are growing too. You are learning alongside too. When I became a new mom, I didn't feel like me anymore. I felt like I'd lost everything that made me me. It was almost like I felt disconnected from myself. My career wasn't the same. I couldn't go to the gym and exercise like I used to. All the things I used to love, I just put them aside. And I had this whole new life that I didn't feel fit right. And I'm here to share with you at that moment, I wish I had the support of people around me. Of course, I didn't ask for it, but I have learned that it's always good to ask for support as well. And sometimes you just need someone to listen to you and say, yeah, I understand it's hard for you. I'm sure it's difficult and I'm here for you. But slowly I realized I was, I was learning to adapt. I was learning to value and love what I had. And I reached out and I seeked help. And instead of fighting to get the old me back and feel like I was missing out because I didn't have my previous me with me, I started embracing the new me and working out how things I loved about the old me could fit into this new kind of me. This is something that I went through and, and if you're going through this, please comment and write about how your experience is making you feel and it's okay if you're feeling disconnected from yourself it's okay if you're feeling overwhelmed it's okay if you're not feeling so happy being a new mom because it is a lot to deal with and that's why we do the work that we do at happiness is love because we want to not feel alone we want to make sure that as as parents as women we can connect with each other we can share our struggles our storms our successes so that we can heal we can connect we can build ourselves and each other and build our homes. I hope this video was useful to you. If you're struggling with any aspect of your life, whether at work or at home, you can reach out to us. We at Happiness is Love care deeply about your well-being, about your happiness and health. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep inspiring.